Hey everybody, this is John. So you're casting some bullets, maybe it's your first time or first time in a long time. But you're finding that after you do your inspection, some bullets are, you know, the, the diameter is less than others, or um, some are, if you weigh them all, some are like probably 180 grains, some are 176 grains, they're all over the place. What could be happening there is uh, you're not stirring up your pot enough. So what happens is as the, the, the the, the lead melts down and stuff, the lighter stuff likes to float to the top. So the tin will go to the top, it'll get oxidized, and it'll be like this shiny mirror thing on top. So dump sawdust on top, and that'll uh, basically create carbon on top, and that'll smother the oxygen from getting to the tin, and the tin won't come out, and that makes sure your tin, your antimony, and your lead all stay mixed. So, you know, keep the smoldering carbon on top, and keep stirring it. As you're getting lower, Keep stirring that stuff and that's going to keep your, temp your uh, lead consistent mix and hopefully all your bullets will drop about the same weight. And also, probably, you know, try to make sure that your, uh, your temperature is good and consistent, probably around 750 to 800 degrees, maybe even a little bit hotter, but that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. What I've done here is I've just dumped sawdust in on the top and you can throw some wax in to flux instead. I like the sawdust because I'm going to keep it like this, if it's smoking a lot, it's been there a little while now, you can actually just light it and that will burn off the smoke. So now you've got flame and you're going to make this into charcoal. It's just going to char and then that can just sit on top like that and that will keep the air, or the oxygen, from getting into the mix and oxidizing the tin. And when it oxidizes the tin, the tin, okay, so some of the hardness comes from tin but a lot of the hardness comes from antimony. So I'm using wheel weights, right? And so there's more antimony in it. The antimony won't normally bond with the lead and crystallize with the lead. The tin does. The tin mixes very well with the lead. But the uh, antimony actually bonds with the tin, and the tin bonds with the lead. Now, I'm not going to get into the chemistry of it, but basically uh, you want your tin to not float to the top and create this... Um, dull uh, surface. You want that tin to be remain in the lead.